A pirate crew left its treasure in this secret spot. They installed a security system before they left. A pirate ghost. The pirate loot was stored in this chest. Maybe the pirates lost their claim ticket or something. The pirate ghost has the job of guarding the treasure. The pirate chief made sure he wouldn't quit. Dreaming of pirate treasure, Adam opens the chest. A tiny blue crab has been napping in the chest. He scuttles away to find new shelter. I guess he was napping. Not a good place for it. The chest was empty except for the crab. Someone else has been here recently. Unless, of course, you believe in hundred-year-old crabs. It's a conquistador's pike. Someone made sure the pirate on duty would get the point. No doubt this is a skeleton key. I think I felt it give a little. The pike snaps into pieces and the key goes flying into the water. Out of nowhere, a lurking fish darts forward. Hey, you give that back! He swallowed it! He swallowed it! I can't believe it! After him, Adam! What a pig! The red fish streaks across the reef toward the east. The red fish takes off again. The red fish keeps up the speed as it heads back the way it came. Rats! We lost him! Where'd he go? Don't know, Adam. But I do know he's packing iron. <laughs> the anemone heaves with discomfort. Clearly, he's bitten off more than he can chew. Adam moves the bright fishing lure in front of the anemone. I guess 
that'll show him to get grabby. Adam picks up the key and tries not to think about where it's been. Look at that. Blow me away, it's a flashlight fish. He's one of those nocturnal types, so I don't know what he's doing there. Nocturnal? Yeah, comes out at night, lives down deep during the day. I wonder why he didn't go home, something must have happened. Adam senses some movement inside the ear. The flashlight fish darts into the jar and settles in the bottom. Wow, look at that glowing light, just like the oracle said. Adam carefully places the glowing jar in his backpack. must be the net of bones in the oracle's prophecy. Look, Del, that little lobster over there is still moving. Why, that's Persephone, Demeter's daughter. So that's what happened to her. Do you think you could get her out, Adam? I already know my flippers are useless against that drift net. Don't worry, I'll get you out. Easy now, don't pinch me. Persephone, you better go home now to your mother, Demeter. She's been worried sick. Good going, Adam. At least you have the thumbs for the job. Adam, feel all that cold water? <laughs> 